everyone. My name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're highly welcome. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to hem your tool net with crinoline. So let's get started. So now, this is my crinoline and this is my tool net. And now, this crinoline, the crinoline has different types. Some are 1.5 inches, while some are 2 inches. This one is 2.5 inches. This is 2.5 inches. Now, another thing about crinoline, some are soft and some are hard. If you're buying, buy the hard one. The hard one, it's the hard one that will give you that bouncing effect. Now, another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, now I'm going, this rough edges, I'm going to cover it up. If you don't cover it up, it will inconvenience the person that is wearing the dress. It will make the person uncomfortable. So, make sure you cover this before you attach your, your crinoline to your tool net. Okay. Now, if you don't have, if you have bias tape, that would be nice. You can use bias tape to do it, but if you don't have, you can also do it with your fabric. Now, this is my fabric. Now, I'm going to fold this fabric this way, and I'll place it on the crinoline just like this. And I'll take it to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew it. I'll sew it this way. Let me illustrate with pin. So, I'm going to sew it this way. Now, after sewing it this way, I'm going to turn it, turn it to the other side, just like this. I'll fold it again and fold it again. Hope you're seeing what I'm doing. I'll fold it again and I'm going to sew. I'll sew it. Fold this in. Fold this in. And I'll sew. I'll sew it on our top stitch. So that's just it. That's just it with this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to sew my crinoline on my tool net. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. Now, I'm going to show you two methods of sewing your crinoline on your tool net. Now, the first method. The first method. You're going to place your crinoline on your tool net just like this. Place it just like this. And you take it to your sewing machine and you sew. Sew with a quarter inch sewing allowance so with a quarter inch sewing allowance let me illustrate with pin now when you take it to your sewing machine you sew it Now, after sewing, you turn it. After sewing, now, you're sewing from the right side. You're, now, you're, you, you're going to place your crinoline on the right side of your fabric and you sew. Now, after sewing, you now turn it to the wrong side. You turn it to the wrong side, this way. Now, you turn it. Now, when you turn it to the wrong side, you now sew here. You sew here. Push it down and you sew. Now, while sewing, try not to stretch your crinoline. If you stretch your crinoline, you're not going to have that bouncing effect. So, don't stretch your crinoline. Just sew. Just sew. Now, this is the first method. Now, this method, somehow I don't like this method. Now, there's something about sewing. We all have different ways of achieving the same results. In fashion designing, you know what is good for you. You know what works for you. Use it. Whatever works for you, use it. Now, I'm not going to use this method. Why? Because I don't like the fact that this crinoline is showing on this fabric. It's not nice. Now, my, my tool net is pink and my crinoline is white. You might not... Now, it's difficult to get a pink crinoline. Getting a, a 
a matching colored crinoline can be difficult sometimes like i was not able to get a pink crinoline that's why i'm using this one so now another way of doing this another method now after sewing after sewing it this way just like i did the first time after sewing your crinoline on your two nets after sewing it just the same way just like i did the first time sewing it like this with quarter inch seam allowance you flip turn it to the wrong side you turn it to the wrong side now when you turn it to the wrong side now when you look at this you will see that you're still seeing the white crinoline somehow the white crinoline is still showing and when you look at here you're seeing the white crinoline now the, what i'm going to do now i'm going to when i turn it to the wrong side i'm going to turn it again i'm going to fold it again now when i fold it again i'm going to sew i'm going to sew here this is where i'm going to sew and as i'm sewing i'll be arranging it and be pushing it down and be sewing it so that's how i'm going to do it now when you do it this way the the crinoline the whiteness of the crinoline will not show on the tool net though it's the, the crinoline will now look as if it's pink inside and when you look inside the inside will still be neat and the right side will also be neat the wrong side will be neat and the right side will be neat so this is how i'm going to do mine so i'm going to take it to my sewing machine i'm going to do the two i'm going to do it the two ways then i'll show you the difference now this is it i've done the first sewing i placed the I placed the crinoline on the net, on the tool net, and I had to sew it. Now, after sewing, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, now this is the rough edges. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to turn it inside. You see that I didn't use, I used, I, I, the seam allowance I used in sewing it is not even up to, it's not even up to a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to turn it this way. Now, you see, when I turn it this way, this is what I'll have, okay? So, now, this is the first method. So, I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew here. This is the first method. For the second method, when I turn it this way, I'm going to turn it again. I'm going to turn it again before sewing. Hope you understand my point. I'm going to turn it again before sewing and I'm, I, when sewing I'm going to sew on the edge of this thing just on the edge I'm not going to sew with up to a quarter of an inch so this is the first method this is the right side and this is the wrong side you see how the thing is showing on the wrong side you see how the crinoline is showing so after sewing here I have to turn it to the wrong side and after turning it I have to sew it now let me show you the second method let me keep this aside so this is the second method this is the second method you see how it is now this is the wrong side and this is the you won't even know the difference this is the right side and this is the wrong side you see that it, it, the the crinoline is now inside it's covered so this is the second method and when you do it this way the color of the crinoline will not be obvious if you're following this method remember to leave your seam allowance now the, the the size of your the size of your crinoline is going to determine the the hemming allowance that you're going to leave now the size of my crinoline is 2.5 inches so the the allowance i left is 2.5 inches hemming allowance because after sewing here after sewing here i had to turn it with 2.5 inches if you're using this method the size of your crinoline is going to determine the amount of hemming allowance you're going to leave so this is the two now this is the second method this is the wrong side and this is the right side wrong and right side while this is the first method this is the wrong side and this is the right side wrong and right side I've shown you two different ways of hemming your tool nets with horsehair braids. So this is the one I prefer. 
you see how it is very neat now when i gather it you see how it is neat inside and out you see the lower part here i didn't i had to sew the edge here see i had to sew on the edge the allowance i left is not even up to it's not up to a quarter of an inch so whichever one is okay for you you can just follow that one so i'm done with this now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to gather this i want to use it to make i'm making a ball dress so when i gather it So when I gather it, you're going to have something like this. So you're going to have something like this. You see what it, how, what it looks like. So guys, this is the outcome of the, the, of the dress. Now, this is the dress I was making. But I only wanted to teach you how to make the, the how to hem with crinoline. So now this is the outcome. You see? You see how how it looks you see the wrong side and this is the right side you see how it's looking so this is how i was able to achieve this if you prefer the first part now this is the second method i taught you but if you prefer the first method you can use it if you also prefer this one you can use it so that's just it with this tutorial i believe you've learned something from this tutorial feel free to ask questions i'm going to be in the comment section to answer all your questions now my next video is on how to make it's going to be on how to make yolk on how to make yoke for ball dresses for children so i'm sure you don't want to miss out on that tutorial so subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our tutorials so that's just it with this so this is the back this is the back yoke this is how the back yoke is and this is the front this is the front this is how the front is. Now I'm thinking of having a class on how to make ball dresses for children. That class is going to be very detailed. It's going to be loaded. I'm going to teach you from the scratch. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about making ball dresses. Now, if you're interested in that class, let me know in the comment section. From your response, I'm going to know if to do it or not.